probably talking about a bunch of young met Robert on the uh, museum that he started here. Uh, certainly there are a lot of uh, interesting items here and if you've not had an opportunity to look around you might want to do that. Uh, might want to come back some other time and spend a little money here at the pawn shop as well. I'm sure that would be fine. Uh, but again, it's a, it's a pleasure for me to be here and again it's uh, my pleasure to welcome the governor to uh, Sabine and to Manny and to the pawn shop here in the museum specifically. Thank you. Let me say, it is indeed a pleasure that I could be here. And you know, when you think of Robert Gentry, it goes back. I could tell you lots of things about Robert Gentry. Lots of you don't know. And I didn't even recognize his wife. Then uh, if you mention, I want to apologize for that. The hair used to be longer. I believe mine used to be darker, so I think kind of things do change. But I think it's so nice that you do take time out to the governor. I know he cannot wait until January the 8th. Neither can I. <laughs> I'm going along with what you call out. I spent 16 years, of course, then I think it's time to move on. I had the pleasure of serving eight years with Governor Edwards, and he knows, uh, as well as I know, our relationship has been great, and I've enjoyed my time, and it's no regrets in my 16 years. But Robert, I want to say it's real nice to have the governor here, and uh, I'm going to wait and say my other kind remarks about the governor later tonight. I'm not sure how this works, but uh, actually, Governor Evers will be the third person to be able to size uh, likeness of a kind. Uh, Corey Acuff and Hank Williams. I'm not sure if it's any mean or not, but you're going to use that. Uh, Robert Jenkins. Thank you very much. I'd like to welcome each of you here tonight, and uh, thank you for coming. Uh, I have been a collector all my life, and I opened this pawn shop back in uh, about six, seven years ago, hobby, mainly. And as part of it, I gradually uh, started putting some of the things I've collected over the years on display it attracted people to come in and hopefully buy something at the pawn shop but it's turned into quite a museum which i named robert gentry hobby exhibits and uh, i charge what it's worth free and uh, <laughs> but a lot of people do come by and look at it and enjoy it and it's a way of giving back to the community a little bit for a community that has been real good to me and my family uh, all of us have heroes, although it's kind of hard to find them nowadays. But one of my heroes has always been Governor Edwin Edwards. I first met Governor Edwards back in the mid-1960s at a press convention down in New Orleans when becoming governor was only a dream in his mind at time. And we've remained friends through all these years, and uh, I have supported him with the Sabine Index. I, if my memory serves me right, the index was the first paper that endorsed him for governor, and we always endorsed him most times. <laughs> from, from a personal point of view, Governor Edwards, to me, stands for a man who values friendship, and he has and always will be loyal to people he calls friends. I appreciate that in it. I appreciate his honesty and his integrity. He's the kind of guy that will give you an answer. It might be yes and it might be no, but he will give you an answer. He means, he means no. So you just have to learn to, to take those. Uh, and his word in his, is his bond. You don't have to have a contract with him. If he tells you something, if you shake his hand on it, that And these things are, are very important. Uh, we're here today or tonight to unveil the lifelike figure of Governor Edwards. The head of it was sculpted by uh, Ms. Mary Caruso down in Port Allen, and the clothing on it is Governor Edwards' personal clothing that he gave for this. And uh, I have told you some of the things about Governor Edwards that mean something to me. Everybody, unfortunately, don't feel the way about Governor Edwards that I do. So when you, when you look at this figure, people will see one kind of Edwards, and some other people will see another kind of Edwin Edwards. So I'm saying all that to say this. After we're gone from here tonight, the figure change and the Edwin Edwards mystique will live on. We dedicate this lifelike figure to the everlasting memory of Governor Edwards, 
this great Louisianian and this legend in Louisiana politics. History, I think, will judge him and his accomplishments very well and very kind. Now, I would like to ask Carolyn and Tex McKnight to unveil the figure after that. I'd like to ask Governor Edwards to respond. so I will save uh, the speeches for that time so you don't have to hear it twice. But I do want to thank you and compliment you and say that I really do appreciate this very much. And Robert and you and Ted, the rest of you whom I'll be talking to at the banquet tonight, uh, I just want you to know that I, I appreciate it very much. Next time I run out of clothes and I need a new suit, I'll know where to come get it. <laughs> Don't see what he wrote about you, huh? He said, uh, yeah, I got, I've also got a little pale mic, though, if you want to use it. I'd rather you just take this mic and he'll hook in the same place as well. Yeah. Do you have a sailor phone? No, not really. Okay. When you get to him and ask him, he'll do like that, but I think that will get better like that. Okay. 